pain reduction of ibuprofen sodium dehydrate alone and in combination with acetaminophen in an untreated endodontic pain model. A randomized double-blind investigation by a high group in 2024 and published in the JOE. Most pain studies have been based on post-surgical third molar using ibuprofen in combination with acetaminophen. Studies have found faster onset of pain relief with a newer formulation of ibuprofen such as ibuprofen sodium dehydrate. So the aim of this study was to compare pain reduction of ibuprofen sodium dehydrate in combination with acetaminophen to ibuprofen sodium dehydrate alone in acute endodontic pain model of untreated patients experiencing moderate to severe pain with symptomatic apical presentitis. In this double-blind randomized study, 64 adult emergency patients in acute moderate to severe pain, a pulpal diagnosis of symptomatic irreversible pulpitis or necrosis, and symptomatic apical periodontitis participated. Each patient randomly received either one dose of 768 mg of ibuprofen sodium dehydrate in combination with uh, 1000 mg of acetaminophen or one dose of 768 mg of ibuprofen sodium dehydrate alone. Pain intensity score were recorded every 15 minutes over 240 minutes using the heft Parker VAS along with time to first sign of pain relief, time to meaningful pain relief, and time to 50% pain relief also were recorded. And the, the result showed that both ibuprofen sodium dehydrate and ibuprofen sodium dehydrate in combination with acetaminophen groups showed progressive decrease in pain from baseline to 120 minutes after medication administration. Afterward, a relief plateau, oh, sorry, a relative plateau was seen in patients' pain. There was no difference in the VAS score between the two groups at any given time point. So, to conclude, the addition of acetaminophen to, sodium, to ibuprofen sodium dehydrate did not differ significantly from using uh, ibuprofen sodium dehydrate alone.